jump so high I touch the clouds Whoa, oh. hey everyone I am going to record really quick um, we have picked a new fertility doctor to go see um, in the medical center and um, we'll see what happens it's gonna be our consultation with him get to know this doctor um, so I will update everybody as soon as I find out what he tells me thanks guys are you nervous no I'm a bit uh, mm. anxious I guess yeah to get our baby on I need to get um, like a holder to put so I can record. We need help getting pregnant. <laughs> it's all good. We're in this together. Mm -hmm. I took the day off just for this day, for this moment. Uh, I can't tell if I'm nervous or if I'm just cramping. I think it's a little of both. Of course, I would start my monthly dues during the time of my visit. I haven't had one in two months. And of course I get it today. It's all good, as long as I get it. That's one of my issues. Not being able to have my period every month is one of my issues, so. One of the uh, reasons why, one of the reasons that delays pregnancy is the imbalance of my goods. You still love me like that, babe? Of course. <clears throat> this Houston weather, we just don't even know if it's going to be cold or hot. It's a beautiful day turned out to be very pretty, 70 degrees. One wig. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, like about what he said? Were you well, saying, did honestly, you, did you understand like what he was saying? Yeah, I think I'll be honest, and I was a bit relieved. Well, I was relieved that he told me two times that I was okay. Yeah. He goes, "You're fine. You're okay." Yeah. But. It was a relief that, you know, and I'm going to say that you know, I'm not the problem, but, you know, uh, as far as you, you know, you have to take a medication for x-rays and stuff. It's kind of, it made me wonder, like, why, why take medication to take okay. x-rays? Yeah, so I don't know if it's going to be a pain, painful. I don't know. That's weird. So, but overall... You know, we got, this is uh, phase one. Now we're on to phase two. We just got to wait. And but most importantly, you know, I'm here with you, babe. Together, you know, this is both something we want to do, want to happen. Is We're preparing the oven. <laughs> I know. <laughs> here with you together and we're doing this together and to hopefully be blessed with a, a bundle of joy I hope so so because I ain't getting any younger yeah we ain't getting any younger no but it'll happen but most I importantly know. I'm here to support you babe thank you my amor 
I had a lot more faith this time, and I guess because it ha I had, like, your support. Mm -hmm. I didn't always have, like, good support back in the wee wall days. And most importantly, you got insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that insurance. <laughs> yeah, let's see how much the insurance covers. We'll see. We'll find out. I don't know what all it's going to cover, but we'll find out. I feel like they have the Texan sign next to the YMCA. One of the football players built that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Or he put money towards it. I don't know. I feel like this is where I came for my speeding ticket. All the way out here? Not all the way. It's not that far from the house. I mean, Macau was right here. More, babe. <laughs> it's that 610 loop. And that's one, where you're going to go for this next appointment. One minute you're going like speed limit because of traffic and then all of a sudden it opens up so you're like mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. A bit concerned because I guess it's like I'm concerned because uh, okay. shit. On the damn track, something you ain't supposed to do. Um, what are you doing? Uh, at least you can go up. Yeah. Okay. You're good. There. No, no train. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully the the whole your tubes will be good to go and. I think I checked, I think I have checked it, like, I just, it's like a big blur. Find out with all the test results, right? Yeah, well, a lot of it has to do with my hormonal imbalance. You know how he said, so more than likely you have a hormonal imbalance. Yeah. The reason he said that is, you know, like when my periods are off track and that plays a big role in everything, all, all you know, all of the woman goods. And that affects you being able to conceive. conceive, well, to ovulate. When you ovulate, that's when you're, when you're off, my, my ovulating time is when we're able to conceive. Like, you know, that's when you're able to come inside me and your, if your soldiers are strong enough, they'll go into my little eggs and, and that's how it forms. But because I'm irregular on my periods, I don't ovulate the way I should. I don't know when I'm ovulating. You know, I could be ovulating two days after my period. I may not be because I'm, I'm just so jacked up from in there that I just never know when I'm going to be ovulating. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's like that. my period is like playing a game with me. But yeah, I mean, he'll pretty much like walk us through the whole, the whole thing. Well, I'm excited because we started the process and now we're, like I said, we're on the phase two. And, yeah. Uh, you know, the more after each phase, you know, it's, it's getting us closer to what our goal, our goal you know, and. think about that I, I mean because it's like we're starting all over you know our kids are big well at least they could help take care of the baby yeah Haley even Haley is gonna be just excited but I want to surprise everybody 
I want every, I want everybody to get a certain type of surprise. No, I'm just gonna be. Yo tengo una, tenemos anuncio. Uh, you said that several times, and every time they think you're gonna say we're pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I do it. That's funny. Because the next one is gonna be. Damos embarazados. No, like I was even thinking about doing like a game. Like, uh, like, I kind of want to start doing like, you know, where we get together and do like family board games or whatever. So that one, one of them is like where we draw out we're pregnant or something. That would be on your family. Oh, okay. Mine ain't gonna do all that shit. You don't think so? No. So what are they gonna do? More rancho over there? Hey, we're pregnant. No. I want to do more exciting. Not just we're pregnant. Like, you know, like, put a bun in the oven. Damn, they're like... <laughs> it would have to be... With, for my family, it would have to be like a, a gathering of... Uh, hey, guys, y'all come over. We're, you know, I'm cooking a brisket or I'm cooking outside. Or something. Yeah, I come over and eat. I would, I would think, uh, uh, just a, just an idea. I was like, oh, uh, babe, didn't we get a dessert? Yeah, we did. We'll come out, bring the cake out or whatever. And we'll have like, uh, what do you call it, the rattlers or whatever? Yeah. On top of the cake. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And we put on there, we're pregnant. Yeah. Guess what, we're pregnant or something? Yeah. Surprise. Oh, yeah. Surprise. We're pregnant. Yeah. That's a good idea, honey. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Family, we always like playing games during Christmas or whatever. We'll do Loteria, babe. Okay. We'll do Loteria, invite everybody, and uh, I'll cook something outside. And I really want to make our own Loteria. But I don't remember half the shit that you would say. Mm. <laughs> um, we'll do a Loteria day. But it'll be on a Saturday, so everybody, you know, just chill and have a few drinks. Those who can't have drinks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be good. And, uh... But we would have to do it. We couldn't do it separately. What? Well, we could do the cake thing. I mean, we're going to tell our families at different times. Hey, everyone. Um, so the day that I went to go see the doctor, excuse my eyebrows. <laughs> I need to get them done. She just did them too thin last time, so I was letting them grow out a little bit. Um, when I went to go see the fertility specialist, they couldn't do much for me, of course, because I was on my period. Whoop-de-doo. Um, I started my period literally that night before my appointment, so there was no point in canceling. My honey took the day off, so I was like, let's just go. Um, so since really they couldn't do anything uh, besides take blood, um, he did send me out. I have to go Wednesday to get a fluoroscopy uh, imaging done. It's uh, an x-ray, a different type of x-ray, I guess. It's kind of for the... It That's going to um, take x-rays of my tubes to see if they're clear or not. Um, so I have that scheduled for Wednesday coming up. And... Um, I did blood work as well the day that was one thing I was able to do at um, at my doctor's appointment um, so he's pretty much checking my sugar um, I'm diabetic so I might have to up my dose I'm diabetic but I'm not on insulin I may have to up my dose on the metformin I'm currently taking 500 milligrams of metformin so I'm thinking that he's gonna put me up to a thousand milligrams a day um, so that should help me um, he did tell me that I do need to lose weight which I knew that was gonna be one of my challenges 
uh, losing weight and also um, keep my of course my diabetes as controlled as can be I mean regardless of what even through my pregnancy I know that I'm going to have my issues with diabetes so it's extremely important that I stick to this I'm a little nervous because it's like a challenge but it's I know I can do it I know I can it's just um, I guess it, it just kind of scary because I don't want to put my baby at risk it's like you know you, I've waited for so long and then for something to happen I'm just I'm a little scared about that um, but I have started my weight journey um, I have already given up all my pretty much I don't eat any sugars unless it's the foods that contain like you know if I eat um, piece of chicken and it breaks down into sugar you know stuff like that but I don't go and I don't eat cakes and and donuts and all that um, I have cut that out um, so it's gonna be rough it's gonna be hard but it's gonna be well worth it um, I'm gonna do this uh, exam on Wednesday this um, x-ray on Wednesday and then I follow up with him a week later to see my results um, he's uh, checking me for all my sugars to see how I'm doing with everything um, so my follow-up with him is going to be on February the 14th Valentine's Day so once that's done he says if my uh, tubes look like they're open then we can actually start fertility drugs oh my god I'm so excited so I'm praying 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 that everything turns out good um, I am my husband and I are gonna start going to the gym again starting tomorrow Monday I know wait till Monday I gotta work on this double chin of mine <laughs> so um, I'll update you guys not um, I'll update you guys through my weight loss journey through my everything journey you you guys are gonna be there all the way until God willing he blesses me with the baby so um, I will update you guys I'm gonna see how this I looked up the fluoroscopy it's a different type of x-ray they gave me uh, prescription medication to take before so that made me a little nervous there I'm like I don't know if it's gonna hurt or what but it's just a it looks like a like a CT scan type of machine but um, we'll see we'll see um i'll update you guys i'll let you know thanks for listening in i hope that this may help somebody out there um one way or another it's it's um uh, it's the thought that comes guys i i'm i'm gonna try i'm recording everything that i can with all the details um so that for someone who is going through the same issue or is um, thinking about doing that then they'll they'll have an idea of what to expect all right I'll talk to you later guys bye